Hey there everybody, how's it going? This is Bronson from Fretz RV here in Satterton, Pennsylvania. I've got another exciting video for you here today. This is one of the first 2023 Winnebago Travato 59Ks that we are getting here in stock. Uh, K meaning this is the twin bed model, so you'll have the rear bath, the twin beds. Um, you're on the Ram Promaster chassis, only about 21 feet in length. And this chassis has all the latest updates with a nice new touchscreen, the push to start, nine speed transmission, the new safety features, all the bells and whistles. Uh, so I'll take you on the outside inside, see if this might be the coach for you. So again, V6 Ram Pro Master chassis, granite color, gas engine V6, still quite fuel efficient. On the passenger side, you'll find over here, you got a nice big power awning. There's LED lights under there for you. Uh, you got a couple windows on this side with, of course, tinted windows for your uh, overall privacy shade and uh, your privacy and climate control. There's a nice step rocker here to step up into the coach for getting in and out. Come along the side, here's some more. You'll find you do have another solar port on the side here. That's what this little button's gonna be for, this switch right here. You already have a 215 watt panel on the roof, but if you wanna bring an extra panel with you there, you can hook it up and uh, get some more solar going. You got the 12 volt plug out here, cable in, if you wanna do some TVs and some more outlets, if you're hanging out under the awning, you'll be able to uh, plug some things in. We come around the back side, you'll see you do have a few optional features up here. You have the ladder, which is removable. It can go along the side. You'll be able to hook it up onto the side of the coach. You've got the bike rack back here for two bikes. Um, there's also what's called a luggage rack on the roof. You can see that up there. Um, it's kind of just bars that run across. You'll be able to tie things down up there on your roof rack that's up there. That's what the luggage rack means. And then you also are set up for towing back here with a hitch receiver, seven-way wiring. There's a propane quick connect little tab over here that's what that yellow cap is over there you can bring your own outside grill if you like do some cooking outdoors let me pop this back door open here for you so you can see so this is a rear bathroom model so as you open up these back doors you'll find your rear bath with your toilets there's a drop down sink i'll show you more of this when we get into the inside but winnebago does provide you privacy shades for the back door here there's also a drop down rolling screen which is nice if you have a nice day you can keep the back doors open let that screen down, keep the bugs out, let the nice uh, air flow in. And then back here, you've got an uh, LED kind of porch light for the back because you have your workstation over here, your water setup station with an outside shower. This is where you would hook up your city water, your black tank flush for cleaning out the tanks. And then you of course have some outlets, 12 volt plug out here. You'll find these two bars here. What these actually do is they mount and they come across the side here. They mount to here and over here. You can actually set those up and put down a kind of a blackout shade back here and do an outdoor shower if you'd like to set those bars up have that or keep it uh, just open up if you like i've also got a backup camera back here an antenna for your tv come around the driver's side here you'll find you have your dumping station for your black and your gray holding tank on here there's a little exhaust next to that as well you'll see that is actually for your generator you've got a 2.8 kilowatt generator on here it runs off gas shares the fuel with the chassis there you can see that running board up along the top there, your roof rack. Also on the uh, driver's side here, you'll find your Truma exhaust for your heating system. It's a combi system, does your hot water as well. It's nice about Winnebago on the Travato 59K. They actually give you a spot for your sewage hose to be stored so you can keep your stinky slinky outside. Don't have to bring it in. And there's a spot to fill up your propane tank. That's where that yellow cap is. There's a master switch on there. And then you would hook up your 30 amp shore power cord right onto here. So let's, uh, let's get you onto the inside here, show you the uh, 59K floor plan. This is probably the most popular floor plan of the uh, Travato model, just because of the bed setup. You can either have two twin beds or you can expand it into a nice big bed. Before we step in here, I'll show you, you do have another drop down screen here so you can bring that down. You'll be able to, again, keep the bugs out, let the breeze in. There's a nice magnet piece here on the side. So if you have it zipped down, you'll be able to walk right in and out. And this table, I'll show you here in a bit, will eventually be able to flip down and get out the way of the front entrance here. But it's nice about this, nice big opening, stepping up into here. Stepping in, we'll check the floor plan out here, the cabinetry, your two twin beds, galley area here, front chassis. I'll start you up with your main bells and whistles up here. You'll have a couple light switches. This switch does the overhead light on here. Your power control, you got your generator start and stop. You can do, turn on your water pump. It's on demand. Tank levels, read your battery levels. This will be the control for your Truma, your combi system, either your RV heats or your hot water heater. 
There is a thousand watt inverter in vo uh, on board. So if you want to be able to just, you know, run your outlets, your standard 110 outlets or anything without having to turn on the generator, you can turn this on. You've got a propane quick or disconnect switch right here to turn it on and off. Then you also have holding tank heaters on board. So if you've gotten some chillier conditions like it is today, throw on this switch, it'll light up red, let you know that your tank heaters are working. Down below, you'll find your coach battery switches, a couple other light switches, uh, controls for your awning, in and outs, and the uh, LED switch. You have a nice TV set up here on board for your entertainment and a sound bar as well for that. You'll be able to kind of swing this out and put it in the direction that you'd like. Twin bed set up here, as I said, I will be able to throw up a picture here for you. You can see these beds do combine to make one nice big bed, or if you just want to be able to swing out in the middle of the night, walk over to back to the bathroom and keep it in a twin bed setup, you can certainly do so. What's nice about the uh, passenger side bed over here, this does lift up and provide you extra storage underneath. I won't forget, I'll show you here, there's also a mount. So this table that you have right here, this is slid down onto a mount. You can actually move it up here. I'll be sure to put a picture up so you can see. You'll be able to sit on these two beds here and have kind of a seating arrangement here for, you know, whether you're dining or playing some games, set it up right here. For storage overhead, you've got some cabinetry here. Pop up, they'll hold into place. Your solar controller is up over here for that 215 watt panel. If you're hanging out in the bed, you don't want to walk too far and store some things nice and close. You put that there. Let's just say you're hanging out in bed. Want to read a book, get a night light going. You can have that or hold down the switch and get the nice bright light. You, of course, do have some 12 volt plugs right here on the opposite side. Same deal, 12 volt plugs and then some more overhead cabinetry space. Just about the same as the other side. Well constructed cabinetry here as well. Uh, what's nice about Winnebago, their windows, you can open up these windows here. You'll be able to slide open these windows here. Um, you'll see they actually give you these privacy shades or some of them you can do privacy or a bug screen, depending what you want to do throughout the day. So you'll be able to set the shades how you like. Still have another storage cabinet over here on this side. I do want to show you the bathroom back here as you step in. What's nice about a rear bath setup is you do get quite some space. Again, you got the toilet. There's a drop down sink here, which is nice. Have it out when you need it. Tuck it away when you don't. And then above that, you do get some medicine cabinet space. If I turn around here, you also have either hanging closet space, these shelves, you can remove them or move them around however you like. And then below that, you have your storage door. And there are two sliding doors here so that you can get your privacy back here. And then you have a screen or a shower curtain that would swing all the way across and cover up all this cabinetry here as well. Winnebago likes to stick these uh, ram mounts along the majority of their coaches. These are really nice. You can buy accessories to hang down on here. Like you can see over here, you can get like a little spice rack or other different types of racks for your, uh, for your needs. Let's talk about the galley area here. Nice Corian countertops, stainless steel sink, which is nice. Winnebago likes to tuck or along these uh, nice, nice outlet stations here. So have them up when you need them. You got 110 USB ports or tuck them away when you don't the k model comes standard with the uh two burner propane cooktop a convection microwave which is nice it can be worked as an oven or your standard uh microwave system and i'll show you the storage here some bigger drawers down below here and they also offer you a storage into the floor that actually locks so you can keep your personal belongings safe under there fridge size is tucked down below it is a 12 volt fridge has a fridge and a freezer up top. This has the eco hot system on it, so you can preheat the water, turn it back to normal. You'll get that nice instant hot water once you turn that sink on. And uh, again, I'll throw you up a picture. There is actually a countertop extension which comes out onto here. So you can have that extension because these seats swivel around and face this way. And then you can have that table laid down flat. Have a nice eating area for two up here if you don't want to set it up in the back. Uh, again, nice upgraded leather seats here, nice and comfortable. And being on the new chassis, there's that nice new touchscreen. Change the shifter. It's a uh, push automatic brake, parking brake. You've got push to start, wireless charging down here, plenty of cup holders, digital display up on the front. So nice and modernized, new features. Um, definitely a nice refresh on this chassis. Um, comfortable, can't beat it. 
Dodge really did a, uh, a home run here on this chassis with the upgrades they've done. So um, this is the 2023 Winnebago Travado 59K here at Fretz RV of Satterton, Pennsylvania. Again, my name is Bronson. If you have any of the questions, feel free to reach out in the comments. Like the video if you enjoyed. Be sure to subscribe. Keep up with the further content that I have coming out here in the future. I have plenty more class A, B, C, travel trailers, fifth wheel coming to the channel. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one.